Right, today, we've got a new product to photograph. Let's turn the lights on, might help a little bit. Yay! You can see me. Actually, it's probably not a benefit for you. So, we've got some suit covers. Not that exciting, but we're gonna have to build a little rig to photograph them to do it. Now, they have got little magazines on at the moment because we need to iron out the creases. Say iron, flatten out the creases a little bit. Um, so I'm going to drop you over here. I'm going to set up a little rig now. So there was going to be a time lapse of me setting this bit up. Technology doesn't always work. Operator error. So what have we got? Let's wait. We've got from here to here, pole going across. We've got the camera mounted. That's a Nikon D850 mounted up there. It has got a camera ranger on it. What that's going to allow me to do is to find an iPad and connect and see the images on the iPad as we go. Got white paper on the floor because all of these are going to be cut out. There's not going to just be left. They're all going to be cut out. It's the cleanest, easiest way to do this, um, especially if you what these are going for is an online shop. So with these, we're going to do two images per shot as per the client's request. Yes, there are fancier images that we can do. That's not what the client's after in this particular case. We've got a separate shoot lined up for fancier images. This is just gonna be literally top down so people can see the pattern, see the size, and we're gonna curl over a corner as well so that they can see what's on the back because some of them have got patterns, some haven't. Um, nothing really fancy about this, just very sturdy um, light stands that we've got here. And we've got these sort of brackets. Can we see that there? Mm, there. We've got these sort of brackets that are just clamping really tight into there, which is nice. Um, we have actually got a battery pack on the camera itself. Let's see if we can go over here without standing on the thing. So we've got a battery pack there attached into the camera ranger there. Because as usual, I didn't charge the camera ranger. Um, but we'll keep that quiet, that's fine, just between you and me. But what that does allow me to do now is to operate that camera remotely. I can see the picture, make sure it's all lined up, it's correctly, I can make sure that focus is perfect as well, and I can actually take the image as well. An image will go through to the laptop, but um, in this case, not laptop, the iPad, but we're just discarding it afterwards. We're storing them all on the camera, and that's all we care about. So we're gonna go through this now and process it. I'll set this on time-lapse and hopefully this time might work, might not, we'll see. <laughs> oh, I had a breath after all that. So, a couple of things along the way. Obviously, you saw picking the details. Things like that zip lining it up is actually quite important um, that they're all there. You have to pay attention to details like that. The other thing that I used is, see if I can do this one-handed. Yeah, just about, is the color checker. It's a Passport Pro. So the beauty of this is that I take a shot with this on and then I can calibrate the colors because believe it or not, things like the reds and the purples and things like that, they're all over the shop and that's one of the advantages that we do is by providing this sort of service in that we color check everything so the colors are actually what the client expects and then when the customer sees it on the website okay you're never going to get 100 accurate on a website um, because everyone's monitors calibrated differently but at least what we're providing is correct and then we can't cover every eventuality there's always that discrepancy into that but it's pretty damn accurate. And we especially use it if they're gonna use it for print or anything else as well. So that's all of those done from top down. So we're gonna do a few detail shots now and get those done. Um, and then we're gonna send them off, be cut out. Um, there's a few little tweaks into there. There was creases in those which were quite, sort of quite annoying um, because of where they've been folded over and the creases weren't dropping out overnight, which was a shame, hence we should have done this yesterday. The ones that are really bad onto that, we're just gonna Photoshop um, and just sort out the crease onto that. And that's probably the easiest way of doing it. 
We could get the steamer out, but not all of those are steamable. Um, and there's only a few really, so it won't take too long. This is the sort of thing that we could have done with an assistant doing this, because I'm not used to this hard graft. But with COVID, etc., and working restrictions, it doesn't always make it so easy. It's just quicker to get on and do it. So we're going to take a look at those now, and then we'll get the uh, detail shots done. Okay, so the most important part of this next shoot, or this part of the shoot, a cup of tea and biscuit. You've got to get your energy up. So all we're doing here is some detail shots. So we're not going to do it for every single one. I don't think we're doing it for every single one. I hope we're not doing it for every single one. So I just realised I need to switch the lens over. So I've got a 60mm macro on here. And literally, we're not having these cut out. These are our as is. So let's have a quick look at this. And that's pretty spot on. I don't know whether you can see that. There we go, we've just gone in to get the detail. So we're at F8, 2 of a second. ISO is 100. We've got the light on three. Yeah, three. And literally, I am just picking bits around here because they're hand stitched and handmade and it's made in Britain as well which is a, a real plus point. Certain little key features I'm just grabbing. What I am going to do is just, where we are there, not that other light on, just to get rid of the shadow that's coming in. It's just a little bit too hot. Now I could light me to this and get it right straight off. But generally, within about two shots, you know you're going to get it right. And there we go. Spot on, perfect. We got rid of the shadow from that area, and we're straight in there. It's exactly what we want. So I'm just going to do a couple of them that have got some nice little features. I'm going to do this gold one, because it's got a beautiful little stitch in this bottom corner and it sits beautifully so let's take it that angle with the logo so assuming you can see that there there you go absolutely beautiful so again i'm taking a close-up of this to show the detail on the pattern so people can see that as well. And this has got slightly different zip on it. There was two style of zips that I noticed when I was doing these earlier. And I think really that's all that's needed for the close-up. There's not a lot else in there um, that we haven't done before, because we have done these before, so there'll be certain shots in there that aren't needed. Yeah, very simple product photography, but very important for people's business to make sure it's right. Now, obviously we're going to get these images, not these ones, but the ones we did today, all clipped and sent off uh, to the clients so that they can use them on the website, they can use them on their um, Amazon store and things like that. So it's pure white backgrounds, look superb. They can use them in the marketing material as well. We'll give them a high res version. Um, and that's something that we always do for clients. We give a, a low res web version and we give a high res print version as well. I think that's quite important to do for your client, to be fair, uh, do things like that. Right, I hope you enjoyed that today. If you did, thumbs up. Subscribe for any future ones. We do different shoots every now and then as well. Um, we've got some filming next week. Come along and do some filming. Look forward to seeing you all soon.